Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to install LineageOS to be able to have Android 10 on uh, Samsung S6. So first you plug it. Okay, make sure you have enough battery, above 50% I will say. And then you will go and press the home button, power button and volume down for a few seconds until you get to the download screen. So it's gonna first give you a warning and to continue, you press volume up. And now we're gonna go and open the Odin software. I will leave the link in the description below. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna flash the TWRP file. So we're gonna go and look for it also in the description below. So I'll go as a bootloader, for example, TWRP gonna start it's gonna be very fast make sure you have communication on the communication port and then it becomes green that means it passed exit and now we're gonna go home button power button and volume up to be able to enter in recovery in the software where they just installed and this software is an open source software that is going to allow us to install third party software. So make sure the custom ROM that you're going to install comes from a good source. And now we're going to press wipe. We're going to put everything as factory settings. And if you're not sure if you have still data on the phone or something, you can format it as well. So you press format, you press yes. And it's going to delete everything. So now the phone is going to be completely empty. There is uh, no operative system, nothing. So now what we need to do is to take the two other files that I will leave in the description below. The operating system, that's LineageOS and uh, also the other file. Okay, So I'm going to copy them into the phone. The file size is not too big, so it should be quick. And now we're going to install them. So we're going to install, and first we install the operating system, so Lineage OS. I don't want it to reboot, so I'm sure it's unticked. Press swipe to flash, and this is going to take a while, probably a couple of minutes. And once this is done, we're going to go ahead and install the other file. So now we're going to go on Open G Apps. And the same. You swipe it to flash. This is going to be smaller, so it's going to be faster. And now um, we will untick this. I don't want it on the phone. So we'll press Do Not Install. And it's gonna restart the phone. And if everything went currently and smoothly, it's gonna load. And then you're gonna install the operative system as uh, when you install a new phone. So you're gonna go through the screens, okay? You can select the country that you are. It supports a lot of countries. I would just leave it as it is, as it's, as it's just for example. I don't have a SIM card inside, so I will skip it. You can connect to your Wi Fi, continue. And you continue doing the setup as a for normal phone. The good thing about this uh, software is that it's very lightweight. There is no pre-application that comes with it. It's really nice, it's smooth, it's fast. And the reason I wanted to do this is because some application I couldn't install them anymore as I had to be on uh, Android 10. And as you can see now, if we go into About Phone, you will see the Android version is 10. As previously, I think the latest supported version for the S6, I think it was the 
Android 6 or 7 so I had many applications I couldn't install and then you will have a lot of uh, settings that you can change especially uh, the display ones I think they're very cool they're very nice you can change the style you can change the font uh, the icon types uh, have custom themes so very nice and it's way faster the only thing I miss is the Samsung camera but you can install Google camera and it does the job so I hope you learned something new today and that video was helpful once again thank you for watching and I see you on the next video